This is Wim Marley Moss Triple SI, and healthy peatlands such as this can store and absorb huge amounts of carbon from the atmosphere, making them a vital natural solution in the fight against climate change. However, when they are drained or damaged in any way, that carbon gets released, contributing to greenhouse gas emissions. Rewetting of peatlands helps to solve most of the problems caused by drainage, and this is what we're doing on sites we restore. But restoration usually implies a stop or reduction in conventional agriculture, which may not always be possible for farmers needing to make a living. So what's the solution? Welcome to uh, Wimali Garden Farm. Uh, this area, uh, up until the 1970s, was a lowland raised peat bog, then turned into agricultural land. So on this carbon farm we're essentially planting a permanent cover crop of sphagnum moss to absorb and trap carbon in the ground. So the first thing we did was strip the surface the top layer off uh, to remove all the nutrients. has been put down over the sphagnum mosses to create a microclimate to help it while it establishes. So the hydrology for the carbon farm is controlled by these big irrigation ditches which go the full length of the site, uh, about 200 metres, uh, and the water is controlled by the ball cock that you see there which controls the water level, and when it drops to a certain level below, the sump system, the pump in the sump pit there, kicks in and feeds the water through the site. At the end of the site where we let excess water go off we've planted Phragmites and the Phragmites has been planted to act as a filter for any nutrients or anything else going back into the water system. The other benefit of the Phragmites is that it can act as a nurse crop while the sphagnum is uh, getting established uh, giving the farmer a potential other income. This collar has been put in by uh, MMU to analyse greenhouse gas uh, emissions from this peat soil and we'll be studying that over the next two years. We're hoping to demonstrate alternative sustainable wetter farming practices that can benefit people and wildlife and that can be funded in the future through a blend of public and private finance. We've created this farm scale pilot so farmers and policymakers can see carbon farming in action and to share lessons learned and showcase what can be achieved to go forwards in a much more sustainable way. We have the opportunity to do things differently, supporting incomes through a new wetter farming system whilst protecting our precious peatlands and restoring their crucial carbon storage capacity.